Welcome to WordPress cleaning. We will be cleaning malware in this. This is the website which is infected. Now this website is so much infected that we are not even able to log in. So we will go into the cPanel of this website. And this is the cPanel of the website. So what we will do is first we will take a clean WordPress installation. We will upload it from wordpress.org over here and then extract it over here. Once we extract it over here, we will take this WordPress installation into the site which we want to clean, that is the Rainbow Center. And once we go into the Rainbow Center, what we will do is we will select all the files over here except the WordPress file we will remove this the WP content because this contains the theme and the plugins and WP config because this file contains the configuration and HT access this file contains three directions except these files we will delete all other files and once this is deleted we will go to WordPress installation we will delete WP content because it's already there we will select all the files from here and then copy them to one folder back that is into the rainbow center so now we have got this rainbow center we can now delete this wordpress installation once we have this ready we will check for wp con config if this has virus so we will edit it uh, yeah this has virus now as we can see it is highly infected with virus so we will select it from here we will delete this virus check if there is any other virus now there is no virus we will save this and then we will close it and then we will go to wp content and we will see this index file it's not necessary so or these three files are not necessary. these are actually viruses so we will delete them and then we will go to themes and this file is again not needed it's virus so we will delete it we need a clean DV installation over here and this DV installation is infected it seems to check whether the file is now whether the WordPress is coming or not we will go to Rainbow Central Michigan and we will press enter now because we have cleaned now it's still not coming so we will we will need to upload a new DV from here so I already have a clean DV installation and plugins also we will need to update so there are some plugins okay this is the virus file again we will delete it so we need a clean dv installation i have a clean dv in over here so this is by chance i have it you can upload it from your website otherwise uh, from your dv installation or whatever theme it is you need to have a clean theme so this is the clean theme that i have already so i'm going to move this theme copy this theme to a rainbow the theme is here DV now from here I'll copy it to rainbow and once in rainbow where is rainbow yeah this is the rainbow center from here I'll put it into WP content and from WP content I'll move it into WP themes sorry themes and once we go into themes I'll delete this one, it's no more needed and I have a clean installation, I'll un extract it over here. And after extraction, let's check whether this is working. Okay, this is still not working, so we need to find out 
where the error is. Uh, let's see the theme. We have the theme now. Okay, these two are not needed. So we will delete them by default. Delete and cache can be automatically generated so we will delete that also and now we will check upload if there is any virus so there is no virus in this and i guess there is no virus let's check if this is working All right, it seems to be coming now. It's quite slow. Till then, we'll go to plugins and see if there is anything. Uh, okay, all these plugins are there. They, they need to be updated. And they seem to be infected because 10 July, that is... So 10 July, it seems, virus attacked all these files. Let's check. View. Yeah, this is the virus. You see this virus is there. And then the plugin starts. So actually 10 July, this website had a massive virus attack. So we need to update all the plugins now. So the only way to update this plugins is once after we log in, we need to log in. And this is the login of this website. Don't worry, I'll be changing the password so you cannot try to log in next time. Yeah, once we are into the dashboard, we will go to plugins install plugins and then we we need to in install b a yes save this password b a w force plugin updates so this plugin reinstalls all your plugins instead of just checking up the update updated ones so this has some option like force plugin install so now what happens is when you take this and click update and when you click apply it will not update because it will it says all these are already updated so they don't need update so what we need to do now is we need to tick all of them right click and then once we right click we go into inspect element and after going into inspect element what we will do is we will go to settings we will disable javascript once we disable javascript we will say update now this is a forced update so what it will do is it has disabled the ajax it will, go, it will use the non ajax method non ajax method to update all of them so you need to disable the javascript to update all of them once this page comes you can dis again enable javascript and close this inspect tool this will automatically update each and every plugin from the wordpress repository so we will have clean installations in the meantime what we'll do is we'll go to wordfence and we'll check what we have look uh, okay all of them got updated so we will go to wordfence and then we will go to scan And we'll start a WordPress scan and then probably okay scan is running we'll kill that scan so WordPress is a must-have plugin to check if there is any virus uh, it will show if there is any virus over here so this is all and this is how you can clean your website so once it checks it says if it finds any virus if there is any virus then we need to remove it and because we have had a clean wordpress clean theme clean plugins 
there is the only the only probability where the virus can be is the upload section now wp means in content wp content the only place where virus can be is this section because we have already deleted this one so it comes back again by default we had deleted this one also it comes back again by default so the only place where virus can be is this area so once we put the scan on we'll get an idea if there is any virus so the scan is going on and soon we'll get to know if there is any virus and if there is any virus you can easily remove it so this is all this is the easiest method and i am doing really good on fiverr cleaning all websites so i thought Let's help others also. Thank you very much.